So by now, I'm confident that most of you have already heard about this story and know about the details. However, even though I'm late to the party, I can't not talk about it because this is one of those stories where it's just, wow. You expect something like this, a confession like this to come out years, possibly even decades down the line. But just a couple of months after this gargantuan lie was told that did irreparable harm to American democracy... Now we're just casually getting an admission of guilt here from Sidney Powell. Unbelievable. I mean, <laughs> it is believable, but it's just the details, the circumstances of this story are stunning to me. So Shauna Chen of Axios reports, Sidney Powell, the pro-Trump lawyer who spread baseless claims of election fraud, moved Monday to dismiss Dominion Voting System's defamation lawsuit against her. Powell argues in her motion that no reasonable person would conclude that her accusations of Dominion's election rigging scheme were truly statements of fact. She claims that Dominion conducted a well-orchestrated public relations campaign to save their business and that allegations against her are sparse. Her legal team also requested that the case be moved from D.C. to Texas if it isn't tossed out. Dominion sued Powell for $1.3 billion in January over her conspiracy theories, one of which alleged without evidence that Dominion was part of a massive international communist plot to rig the election. Over 4,000 lawyers have signed an open letter calling on bar disciplinary authorities to investigate Powell's behavior. <sighs> okay. She is admitting that she's a liar and that anyone who believed her lies is not a reasonable person. This reminds me so much of the Alex Jones defense. Well, I'm not a deranged lunatic spreading conspiracy theories. I'm a performance artist. Wink, wink. I mean, anyone who believed the lie that the election was rigged now should feel very stupid because you have one of the individuals who led the charge in spreading that conspiracy theory say, anyone who believed my lie is unreasonable. <laughs> What's funny is I agree with her. Anyone who believed her lie, very clearly unreasonable, stupid, borderline idiotic human being who um, I don't even know how they can exist in modern society being that stupid. I don't know how they don't die because they forget to breathe or trip themselves daily because they tie their shoelaces together. I mean, that level of idiocy, to believe it, you have to be in a cult. You have to be so far gone, so detached from reality to believe something like that. But yet, lots of people believed her lies. And the president used her lies as well as his own to actually catalyze a violent insurrection at the U.S. Capitol. This isn't just like, oh, I told a lie, to he. please forgive me, I'm sorry. This is, <laughs> this is seditious, what she did. I don't know how else to describe it. Your lies actually hurt democracy itself. This isn't some lie that affected a single individual. As disgusting as Alex Jones was in the way that he harassed the victims of Sandy Hook. Your lie had negative consequences for an entire democracy. And five people are dead in part because of your lies. But yet, here she is because she doesn't want to get sued, just casually admitting, oh, well, yeah, only stupid people would be believe my lies. Who believes that? You're not reasonable if you believe my lies. <sighs> just stunning. Now, Donald Trump, on the other hand, I don't actually believe he thinks he was lying. I think at first he was knowingly embellishing and outright lying about the election. Having said that, I think that Trump is deluded enough to believe his own lies, but at least her lawyers have a level of self-awareness that we weren't previously aware of. But she was one of the most absurd, bombastic individuals, like trying to compete with Rudy Giuliani to be the most outrageous and idiotic. But it all comes out now because she doesn't want to be sued. She was lying, and if you believed her lies, you're not, you're not a reasonable person. Well, apparently we have a lot of unreasonable people in this country who did believe your lies.
So now what? We have to live with those consequences. We have to live with millions of Americans believing that the election was stolen when there is zero evidence that that's the case. I hope it was worth it. Tremendous, 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 tremendous